Welcome back to Warm Up Wednesday. If y'all don't already know me, my name is Sky, and for the first time ever on a Warm Up Wednesday video, I now get to say that I have my master's degree in vocal performance and vocal pedagogy. If y'all have seen any of my previous videos, you know that I was in the process of getting my master's degree while I was making those videos. So now I am even better credentialed to be talking about these warm ups. Along with having my master's degree in vocal performance and vocal pedagogy, I also am a professional session musician, opera singer, worship leader, and vocal coach. And this is a series where I share all of my favorite vocal warm-ups with you guys. So today's warm-up is going to be on the runnier, riffier, more color Torah side of things and I'm going to show you guys how you can use it in both a classical setting and a pop setting as well or a beltier type sound. And that transfers over to different voice types as well like if you're a baritone or a tenor and you usually sing in chest voice already you can use this as well in your falsetto to just gain a little more agility there. Obviously if you are more of like a mezzo soprano or a soprano you're mostly in head voice you can use this for that. And then if you wanted to go into more of a belt, so chest voice, head voice for everybody or chest voice falsetto, you guys get the picture. Speed it up a little faster. You can do different vowels. I like to run through all of the vowels if there's like a particularly tricky spot. If you do E, you can do Every body is different. Start wherever feels most comfortable to you. I usually do this warm up more close to like the middle or the end of my warm up. So I'm already usually pretty warm. I probably wouldn't say to just jump right into this one. So you don't necessarily have to start at like the bottom of your range. You can start somewhere in the middle, run up and then back down. You can do all of the vowels, whatever feels the best for you. We all have different troubles with different vowels, <laughs> especially and even in like different seasons of life. Then if you want to do it like in chest voice for like a poppier effect or like a more contemporary effect you can do something like this and make sure not to let it just like drop whenever you are doing those descending scales those are always so hard you just want to let everything kind of drop and then it can sometimes go flat so yeah but I also do like to use a little bit of a ha huh at the very beginning it just feels like it gets things going really well I wouldn't usually encourage like aspirated breath like that, but for me, it just really helps. The same thing goes for like a wah sound. Let me know if that helps you, if you end up trying it, <laughs> or if it's better to just have like a more Italian onset where you're just like, ah, oh, like just right into the vowel. I hope that y'all enjoyed this warm up. I hope that it helps you. Let me know what you guys think and what you would like to hear more of for next time. Bye.